Hey guys, welcome back to Battle Cats. I messed up, and I'm sorry. In the last episode, I tried to use Malevolent Mad Duck against Big Pang Z without realizing that it is completely useless. Look at this, attacks only red slash Aku for massive damage. And there weren't even any red or Akus in the level. Look, I managed to beat Big Peng Z anyway, despite this obvious error, but uh, I was supposed to use Disciple Psycho Duck. Attacks red and zombies with massive damage. So this is obviously my bad. I'm sorry about that. You know what the problem was? This guy is purple and so are zombies. So I didn't even think about it. I was like, yup, purple guy, that makes sense. No, Matt, that didn't make sense. And now you've been relentlessly roasted in the comments. Good job. So guys, I don't know if this is gonna be enough to make up for my grievous error, but today I will be administering my own punishment. Okay, and it's gonna be a little bit harsh. It is time to address the elephant in the room. My punishment is going to be the removal of two very, very, very powerful Ubers that I use all of the time and probably would be nowhere in this game at this point if I did not have them. I'm talking about Kazli and Fonoa. Kazli and Fonoa are now banned indefinitely from my Battle Cats videos, okay? If I didn't have Kazli and Fonoa in my loadout, I probably wouldn't have won, and I probably would have realized that the duck was doing nothing. So, let's just stop being carried so hard by Kazli and Fonoa, and maybe I'll make better decisions. Let's see if we can beat levels in this game without them. So what am I gonna do today without Kazli and Fonoa? Well, we are gonna beat another chapter in Zero Legends. It's about time we did this, okay? And I'm willing to bet a lot of the stages I've done so far used, okay, that one didn't use them, that's cool, that's, that's good. That one's got Fonoa in it, okay? That one's got Fonoa and Kazli in it. This one's got Fonoa and Kazli in it. Fonoa and Kazli, what's that? Fonoa and Kazli? You won't believe who I used in this level. And I bet you won't believe who I use in this level either. And you certainly won't believe what I use in this level. Oh my God, so much Casley and Fonoa. No more, never again. Okay, maybe not never again, but um, at least for this chapter, no Fonoa or Casley. Let's go, cats of a common sea. Welcome to the undertow coast. What's in here? I don't know, turn off that stuff, let's go. Hey, it's just a hippo, no big deal. Avi, oh God. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, stop. Stop, it's actually a big deal. Hang on a second, guys, hang on. No, okay, so the, I was gonna say there, there's been an update and they changed something, but let me just go ahead and show you what they actually changed, okay? Because it's pretty cool. So before this update, if you wanted to know what was in a level and have them all come up at the level select screen, you needed to lose the level, but now, you don't actually need to lose, you can just play the level until 10 seconds is up and then quit. So let's see if that actually works. It's been about 10 seconds now and quit the battle. Check it out. Okay, I just, I think that's really nice. Like, obviously I'm okay with losing the level if I have to, but it's cool to just be able to get in, wait 10 seconds, leave, and then have all the information. That's a lot of friggin' hippos, dude. Oh man, I just wish I had someone who could like curse all those hippos, you know? Someone like, uh, I don't know, Castley? I don't really know who to deal with here. I mean, that's a lot of different traits. The Cappy's gonna be difficult. This little Cyclone's gonna be difficult. And uh, Metal Cory. So we need to make sure we got a lot of uh, anti-metal, for sure. And then like some good all-around stuff. And I want Fishman, okay? Because Fishman is gonna hurt the little Cyclone. I'm a Terrasu. Almighty though. Okay, I don't know why she was on that second form there. Al Almighty Amaterasu, of course, has the zombie killer. It's a talent, and it's great. I can't remember if Cory does a wave or not, but I feel like he does. And then we do need at least one really good critical hitter, but I think maybe two might be a little bit better here because of the significant amount of metal. In fact, I don't even know if Awaken Bahamut's gonna be good here. So let's put in curry instead. Hippo number one. I'm gonna go out there and, oh God. No, it's fine, it's cool. We'll go ahead and pop this guy first, okay? He do be chewing. Oh God, look at that. There's a lot happening here now, guys. I'm gonna send out Can Can as well. 
Uh, because Can Can can, you know, kill hippos, maybe. There we go. We got the pop pop on this guy. Oh, no. I did not do anything for this cap, you guys. Also, what is with that uh, cat cannon? Stop. That was nice. We got a ting there. We got to, like, hope that we can maybe... Oh, man. I forgot to put in Fishman Cat. I thought I put him in, but I ended up putting Octopus in instead and then forgot what I was doing. Hey, we actually did it. Great. Assuming that, uh, you know, a zombie hippo doesn't kill me. Looks like we might be all right. Oh, there's more? Oh, great. That's what I wanted. More. Hey, that's one level down, guys. I don't know if this one has six or eight. I hope it has six because eight is a little bit long. Yep. Six total stages. Beautiful. Yeah, we do have to spend our energy to find out what's in here, but I guess that's just how life is. I could look it up. I don't really want to. I'd rather just do all this stuff myself and not even have help from Kazli or Fanoa. Okay. All right, so this level's got a relic dog. Okay, off to a bad start. That is a, uh, uh, a ram, a colossal ram. It's a pretty cool attack, though, I gotta say. That's a, that's a fun one. Oh, what was that? Oh, it's the guy that brings people over. He's like kind of a cool dude. You know, the the, the come on over alien. <laughs> he just says, hey, come on over. No, get, don't even bother. Uh, j just go ahead and uh, move back there. You know what I mean? Such a weird unit. I, I don't really understand the point of it. Um, but obviously, the real problem here is this bear. Unless... Pizza can just take that out? That'd be hilarious if Pizza could just, you know, take care of the rest of the level while we just get distracted over here. Oh, no, Pizza's gonna get hurt. Oh, Pizza, no, why? There's another one coming, though, guys. We're getting teleported again. Now there's a curry knocking on the door. <laughs> this is weird. All right, all right. Forget it. Forget it. Clearly, all you need to worry about here is a friggin' Aku. We've got a couple of uh, things that can deal with that Aku. Actually, I know one unit that might do a great job. Who remembers this guy, huh? Oh, <laughs> been a while since we used this guy. <laughs> Look, it's good against Aku, and it's uh, it's pretty effective against the bear as far as I know, okay? We're gonna go ahead and sort for more anti-Aku units. And actually, one unit that I think would be really good to use here is... The panda, because the panda is good against Aku and Traitless, and we have these uh, these sheep, right? And they are Traitless, they're Traitless Colossals, I believe. For a second I was like, yeah, let's put in a sniper, but then I was like, no, you shouldn't do that because, you know, they've got uh, shields that you need to pierce first. But what if we put this guy in and pierce the shields? I'm talking cat, researcher, baby. Yeah, okay, so let's take pizza and put in uh, fish man. Oh, and we have to put this guy up here so we get the uh, the combo. Okay, the single cat cat combo. Okay, now, now I am ready. Didn't bring any anti relic though. It's always something I forget. I mean, I did think about the dog. I was just like, whatever. We don't need relic for that. Anti relic for that, right? Let's get the panda out here though. Okay, uh, Can 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 actually take care of that, uh, sheep, which is nice. I didn't know if that was a thing. So hard to get Can Can in to actually attack the, the sheep, guys. So that's an issue. Wait for it. Okay, we attacking, right? Here comes the thing. Come on. We got it. We broke the shield. Now we just need to, uh, okay, we died. Oh my god, this is not good. This is, this is not good at all. Please. <laughs> okay. Uh, guys, I got a little confused about which level was which. I thought there was a cyclone in this one. There's not a cyclone in this one. Fishman, you are not needed, bro. This is the part where we actually get like a real loadout going here and stop being terrible, okay? I got slapsticks and cone in here because I have not been dealing with my relics. So take a look at this guy, okay? He's tough versus relic and Aku. So some things are still gonna give him some trouble, but I feel like he'll be a good help. Here comes a cone. One hit, two hit, three hit, four hit, five hits. Okay, I respect it. Boop. Okay, let's see if we can take out the ramp. We can, perfect. Level up, take it easy. 
I don't want us to go too crazy just yet, okay? It's not, I'm not ready for that. I don't even know who I want to put out here. To be honest, I probably just want to save money. Also, the panda's definitely doing the job on those, uh, those sheep, man. Look at him go. He died. Okay. Wait and wait and wait and go. This ought to be all right. Boop, you're out of the way. Hopefully we can smash that thing, or maybe not. We gotta get another one out now in order to smash the uh, the the shield. Come on, you can do this. Oh, I forgot to put on my thing. Come on, smash! Let me smash, bro, come on! Okay, we did manage to smash it. Knocked him back like right away, back to square one. I just have no money. I just can't save no money. Another bear, guys. We are in trouble. Oh, we actually got rid of one of the bears, guys. That's obviously not enough to win, but it was a great, great turn of events because it, uh, it makes me confident that I can at least kill the bear eventually, you know? You know what? Heck it. Same loadout, rich cat. We're gonna steamroll. Come on, Akuma. All you gotta do is just kill the traitless. That's it. Smash, dude. Thank you. Okay, we smash. Now we can hit him with this guy. No, we missed. Okay. The bear has died, folks. The first bear has died. We really need to do some damage to this guy. But I don't think we gonna. We did some. Okay. Back it up. Can't back it up. Smashed it. Beautiful when we smash. I love it. Smash again. Smash again. Okay, no more, no more smashing. That's fine. Come on. Come on. Oh, all you had to do was smash. It's not easy to smash, man. Oh, oh snap. Okay, now we talking. Everybody, I need everybody to get out of the way. Every single person, get out of the way. And here I come, okay? Oh, it's already been smashed. Great. I have a feeling this guy is getting whittled down real fast here, okay? He's not going anywhere. He can't get any closer to me, and now he's dead. The Great Barrier Free. Uh, I mean, I guess that might be a pun. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Anyway, next one, ominous fan alert. Well, yeah, this is, this. these are sea themed, right? Cats of a common sea. Okay, I see what you're saying. Oh my God, what the heck? The bases are right next to each other. What do I do? Get him, Cone. Okay, you know what? I'm fine with that. Boop. Money, 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 money. Oh, wait. Oh, God. Oh, that might be bad, guys. This might be bad. I think I definitely need some wave attacks here. I can't get no wave attacks. Wait. Wait. Oh, yeah, you know what? Put out the unit that can't attack. Good idea, idiot. <laughs> I don't know why I clicked in first, guys. I just did. Whatever, I got a couple more. Okay. There's light at the end of this tunnel, maybe. Probably not. I mean, yeah, probably not. <laughs> okay. Wave attacks will help us immensely if we can pull those off. Because there's a lot of little dudes, and a little wave would probably take out a bunch of them. Slime Cat clearly is not going to handle it. So let's take out Slime right away. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff we can take out here for sure. I don't know, maybe we leave in our anti Aku, because we do have Aku. But it seems like our, our big thing is the, uh, what was it? Calamaria? Maybe, oh, see that's another thing they added guys, which is really awesome. And just look at this guy, oh, oh! Oh my God, this is actually so nice. Thank you, Ponos, for adding this to the game. It's just so easy to see things now. Check it out, so you open, you open it, you're like, hey, I wanna do a thing, but what about the dog over here, what's that? You go right there, you go to your own custom encyclopedia that only has the enemies from the stage. That is so cool. You wanna know one more thing that's really cool? Okay, this is all from the last update. Uh, check this out. You're gonna have your tiny little mind blown. Look at all the new enemies they've added, guys. All these new enemies are now in the guide that weren't in the guide before. How cool is that? There's so many. Before it cut off around here, like Insanglion was one of the last ones. He was the last one I think that I had seen. And now everything past here is all like new units that were added in that are already in the game but never had their own uh, entry. And they don't they don't have descriptions. 
Oh, these guys have descriptions, these guys don't. I guess that's the, that's the big difference here. But now they show you all the different traits. You can see them on the side, see what each thing does. Like, it even shows their abilities now. That was never a thing before. And I love it. Now, can we beat Ominous Fin Alert? Wave attacks, let's get some wave attacks in here, okay. Oh, I don't know about Dark Laser. Dark Laser is fun, but probably something like Grandmaster because he, he's got, I think, more range. We're definitely gonna want some range here. This guy has no range and that's why he's dying. Pizza also has waves. I think I'm gonna put Pizza in just because he's good in general. I might not be being carried today by Kazli and Fonoa, but that doesn't mean I can't be carried by a Legend Rare, right? I want a Colossal Bankai in here, okay? One of my only level 50s. Well, I've got a... I've got two level 50 uh, legend rares, and that's just because I keep getting so many legend rare cat's eyes. But you can use them on anything. That's the great thing about them. Now, can anyone else help me deal with traitless at the moment? Well, yes. Why not double legend carry for this one? Okay. I know, it kind of seems like uh, it wasn't my intention because I took out the other units, but... Still, I still have to think a little differently because I would just bring Fonoa to this one and I wouldn't even worry about the wave attacks because Fonoa has such a huge range. It just would not matter. Now, it would have been nice if we had uh, waited a little longer before setting that off, but what can you do? Boom, get it. Here's the wave attacks. Oh, that's right. We got to get our resistance. Get out of here. Yeah, we're gonna need to take something that is resistant. Oh, something that's resistant to surge attacks. And we can just bring Gato Amigo for that. It's not a big deal. Great little cat, guys. Great little cat. Definitely need some more levels, maybe. Just I mean, possibly. Also, Gato Amigo has the ability to knock stuff back. Well, it already has that ability, I believe. Um, but yeah, there's some, some good talents here. I've got some defense up already on him. Yeah, you know what? Frig it, who cares? Use the legend cat's eyes. I've got so many of them, okay? 48 of these bad boys. Let's get this guy to level 45, okay? He's a good lad. Sometimes you just gotta, gotta do stuff, you know? Also, here's something I gotta do. I gotta take this out. And let's find a surge resistant attacker. What is that? Oh, that's right. I'm gonna be covering this ability at some point, guys. It's actually an insane ability. I don't have enough dark cat's eyes for an ultra form yet, but I'm gonna get one soon and it's gonna be awesome. All right, who's immune to surge? And can you also attack things? Beefcake, I don't know, man. If anything, it's pro- Oh, 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 oh. I've got way too many, uh, I've got way too many like uber level units now, but that's, that's fine. We're gonna take our time. Like we're really gonna take our time, okay? Uh oh, sorry. Want to make sure that we didn't have anything bad happen. More now, thank you. Yeah, we don't want to set off the, the base. That would be really bad. We just need to save up our money instead. Oh, we are. Okay, let's see if we can maybe help ourselves a little bit now because he's starting to get too close. Boom. Okay, let's try this guy. I want Gigando, of course, but we'll get there. Man, this guy's strong, eh? Really good at knocking back. I probably have some knockback immune units that'd be good here. I don't know, lots of good options. We'll just see what happens, okay? Can we get some waves? Perfect. Get those wave attacks. Mind the surges, by the way. Luckily, Gigando don't care about no surge. If we can actually if he can actually get his attack off, which he did. He's still alive. It's tough. It's tough because these darn hyenas are so strong and they have such good range. Kill some things, we'll be all right, won't we? Actually, we probably will be if we can get rid of that Calamaria. That's a big problem at the moment. Okay, thanks. Thanks for killing us. No biggie. Okay, let's, uh, let's get a Metal Macho. I don't know how fast he'll die, to be honest. Also, I don't think we want this. If anything, we need Ramen Cat. Ramen is gonna get hit by the hyenas, but just maybe he can do all right against some things. He's a great tanky unit. It'll be nice to have him here. Let's see what he can do with, against these guys. Okay, well, that's fine. 
Uh oh. Oh, I did not want to set off the base yet, man. It wasn't time for that yet, man. Okay, I need to change my uh, my thing, guys. I need to change my cannon. But let's just see what happens here because you never know. We, we kind of lured them unintentionally to the base. So maybe just having things go slightly different will be enough. I mean, you never know. We just killed the Calamaria, which is great. We just got the one and the one. Calamaria is dead. Here comes another Calamaria. You can't stop these things. Gigano not dying is beautiful. Keeping this hyena at bay. We're doing it, folks. Just killed the Calamaria. I think we might be home free on this one. Okay! It only took me two legend rares. I'm sure there's like a million ways you could have done that with different ubers, guys. I just use the ones that I like the most. I mean, Benkai is blah, so good. I love them. Two miles below. Okay, I'll just go ahead and hop in. Now this level only required 200 energy. I wonder what that means. Is it gonna be easier? That'd be cool. All I know is that I'm gonna have the wrong loadout for this, aren't I? Well, in this case, all that matters is that we take this guy out with Kane. Kane, he's probably gonna survive an attack as well because he's that kind of guy. And great. Good job taking him out. Personally, I didn't want to take him out. Whatever, man. Can cans, as far as the eye can see. All right, that's all we need. Come on, can can. All right, let's get this guy and this guy. I don't know. I'm I'm very anti traitless here, but that might not be a bad idea. Cause look at that duck. What's the boss? That's what matters. What kind of boss are we gonna get here? And how much is he gonna hurt me? Probably a lot. He or she, I should not assume any genders here. Okay. That's concerning. I bet that guy is pretty good at chewing. Oh, well, he sure is. He ain't, he, this ain't your mom's r red head. Okay, that's a, uh, this is an anti-floating level, guys. For sure. For sure. Oh, maybe Benkai can help. Benkai, please help me. Things are going really badly, and I was just hoping that maybe you could help me, okay? Go ahead. Go ahead and help me. Don't forget to help. You're not helping. I'm dying. This is all your fault. Wow. To heck with everything else. Let's just get a nice anti-floating loadout. Also, guys, I'm starting to feel like Saber is underleveled as well. I am using Uber Rare Cat's Eyes on this because we have them, so we won't be using the, the Legends. Oh, I just went one too many, but that's cool. I just figured she might be due for a few levels. I don't know. So once we get past these boys, we should be pretty much into the anti-floating, into the floating enemy territory, okay? I need a cat CPU for this one, I think. Like, this might be good. Like, we might be fine to just beat the rest of this level now as long as I keep clicking on the on the buttons, right? Because now we've got all these floating units. Look at how fast he died. That was amazing. Uh, now, we do have a problem. And of course, that is the fact that there is a non-floating unit standing behind. I don't have, like, I could have possibly found something that's good against floating and black, but I didn't. Pretty much all the floating is gone now. It's, oh, God, he's back. Uh, we're just going to do what we can. So, yeah, we got a lot of money. We don't have, like, good spammable units here. I wonder what I should have brought here. Oh, wait a minute. Is Can Can in the blind spot here? Okay, beautiful. I think Can Can was in the blind spot of the owl and uh was actually doing a bunch of damage to the to the elephant without the owl being able to do anything about it so that was great it is taking forever to get anywhere in this level guys because that these stupid dogs come oh okay we're good i was gonna say the stupid dogs come out and they get in the way so i can't hurt the owl and then i gotta wait till the dog dies it takes like several hits even with can can which is not good anyway sea cave Habitat. So this is level five out of six. 100 energy, huh? What's that about? Huh. No big deal so far, just a seal. I'm not very confident in beating this all first try, guys. Even though that 100 and. Oh! No! What the heck? It's one of those levels, huh? One of those levels. Okay. I still don't know what else is in the level. Let's just assume that's it. Let's assume we just gotta get that, uh, we just gotta get some, some nice wave attacks on the seal so that the bear can't kill us. So I think we're just gonna send out these guys 
and this guy. And then I gotta get this guy as soon as I can, like that. Oh god, it wasn't fast enough. I should have went with him first. Got it. So I'm not putting, I'm not putting out this uh, metal one this time. Okay, so we should have enough time to start doing some. Go, go, go! No, I'm oh, got. Okay, fine, fine. We put nothing out this time. Okay, there he goes. What? Rude. Super duper rude. I'm so offended right now. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I am gonna put in slime. If we put jelly cat in, um, we should be able to time the attack better. I don't even know how long to wait. Go. Ugh. Let me try this. Hopefully he doesn't get bitten. That would have been great. That would have been great. <laughs> That's definitely why they only charge you 100 energy because you're gonna have to be, you're gonna have to try this stage so many times in order to time it properly. Here we go again. Oh my God, really? That would have worked. That would have worked if he didn't get knocked back. Now I gotta put two of those guys out or his other meat shields as well or something. Come on, 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 come on. No. <laughs> This time. This time. Oh my god, that should have worked. He should have done the attack. Wait till we get to a thousand bucks. Go right here, then wait till he gets to about there and go. And that's the timing that I'm using. Okay, okay, okay. There. Got him. Uh, I'm sending out this guy right away because clearly we need to do more of those, maybe. I don't actually know if we do, but we might. Now can we just beat the level? It's, it's a gimmick level, right? Oh my god, he's here again. Oh no, that is really bad. I don't... Wait. Okay. That was great, but we, we can't do that every time. He's back again. He's back again. Bro, stop. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, guys, I looked it up. Boulder Cat works here to uh, take out the bear as long as you get everything else taken care of. So that's the plan. If we have courier in here, we should be able to take out that seal super quickly and just hit the guy with this, okay? And then move on to the next thing. We're gonna want to like nuke the uh, the traitless enemies as fast as we can, so let's get some anti-traitless. Okay, he's dead. Boop. Great. Oh God. Boulder. Boop. Okay, I gotta get in there with meat shields this time and actually take these guys out. Beautiful, keep going. So yeah, um, it's funny because when the bear comes out, you can just hit him with this because he will end up ahead of all the other units and then you're good to go. There's gonna be a penguin here that's gonna be an issue. Here you go, boom. Oh, second one, here you go. Oh no, the penguin. Let him move, let him move, let him move. There we go, okay, cool. See if we can take out the penguins with, oh god, here's another one. We, we have to deal, okay, yep, that's right, that's, that's a thing, I forgot about that. Okay, who is good for dealing with the penguins? I think uh, the P pizza cat, maybe? I think all we need now, guys, is some fast units to uh, like scoot in there and do some damage. And we're gonna go with, you know, the fastest of them all, Awaken Bahamut. Um. And we have Can Can, so I should have just sent Can Can to kill the uh, seal at the beginning, so I would have got more money. It's just money management, and then once you get the penguins killed, you're good to go. Sad guys, I can't do anything with the Can Cans here. It's just not possible. Come on, bear. There you go. Yeah, the uh, the Can Cans cannot attack. I think Courier might be able to attack sometimes, perhaps. There goes one. We can fire the cannon at this guy. Courier can hit, but yeah, Can Can sucks here when it comes to these guys. Now the good news is we almost have it killed, and then we should be good to win. But bad news is we're gonna lose. So yeah, so that's good. Okay, all right. That's not bad. That's not bad. We're we're at, we could have continued there, probably won. I don't want to continue on that one. I just need to be smarter with my money at the beginning because it's it's all about the time. You have to wait. Awaken Muhammad! Oh god. Huh. Okay, maybe Awaken Muhammad, not, not such a good idea. Sometimes. Okay, so we definitely want the pandas to come out and deal with the penguins. 
I'm also thinking it might be really nice if we push the penguins back. Like this, this guy doesn't seem to be doing anything. So let's try pushing the penguins back with uh, Fiend Cat. So I feel like guys, if we can knock the penguins back, not only will it buy us more time, but it might allow us to snipe the assassin bear as well. So it could be like a twofer, you know? There he is. Now this guy can actually get out of my way and we can get in there with the right stuff and hurt him. Okay. The next one, if I can get one, I'm gonna wait for the assassin bear. He coming. Kill him, kill this guy. Okay. Oh man, that was supposed to kill him. Okay, he's dead. That guy's killed. Now we should be able to win. It's supposed to be pretty easy once we take care of that. Gotta wait for this guy though. Go. No! Continue. Go. This is how much I hate you, Assassin Bear. Ah! Oh my god, how did you manage to perfectly time killing me there? Seriously? Okay, it's over, folks. It's over. I saw a couple assassin bears come out, guys, while I was attacking the base, but they died immediately. Do you see that? I think Fiend Cat was hitting them. Or someone else. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Okay, so I used to continue just because I didn't want to do that level again, even though I knew at that point that I could do it. Now, beyond the Hadel. That's, uh, that's That sounds great. Hadel is like Hades, right? So really far down. Something like that. Well, this one's 260 energy is not going to be easy. That would be my guess. It's the final one in the chapter as well. Uh, yep, looks bad. Help me, Fiend Cat. I need to kill all these squirrels. Okay. So far, so good. Just aliens, man. I don't got to worry about no aliens. Who cares about aliens? Not me. Probably going to be really strong. Probably gonna be really strong aliens. I got my treasures. I don't care. Uh-oh. Here's where it gets crazy. We do have something to knock back uh, angels. And we finally killed the other guy. But that double clional? Mm, I don't know, man. I feel like that's a bit of a problem. If you guys could just leave me alone. Let me let me let me really get to the get get to the business here, that'd be great. At the end of the day, I know I need to get a new loadout, so like I don't really care. Look, I feel kind of reassured by how well I did, despite not being at all positioned to beat the level. So we just need to look for our uh, blue and or an alien and angel, right? If we could try anti-alien and anti-angel at the same time, there might be a couple of things. Especially if we get something resistant, that'd be great. I guess supercar might be nice. Because he'll knock back traded enemies, so he might be able to slip in there and do something. I don't know. It could be fun, because I haven't used them much. Angels and aliens. Dark Catman. Then that's what we'll do. Now we'll go for angels or aliens, and we'll get the rest of our loadout picked up here. Let them get a lot closer. And I guess I could try Catman right away. Also, I'm apparently trying out Supercar. That's cool. Boop. I mean, all you're really doing is putting yourself in harm's way by knocking that guy back, so. I wanna think before I do that again. Okay, so now we've got this guy coming out. Catman, help us. I'll help you too. There you go. Boom, nice hit, I think. Okay, so we've managed to get through this stuff, but doing anything with the Clionals is still gonna be tough. Okay, kill the Rhino. Great, great, there's another one of these coming. Okay, so I'm able to get through some stuff, guys, but then I'm obviously coming up against a brick wall here, you know? Then again, if they don't send out any more baddies, we might be all right. I'm not seeing any more peons right now. Well, we should be able to take out the alien one first, guys. That would be my guess because of the fact that Fiend Cat is knocking back angels. So the angel gets knocked back a bunch, and then we hurt the alien. That's what I'm thinking is gonna end up happening here. Oh! Supercar got in here. I don't know if it did anything, but I watched him roll up to the party anyway. Try it again. Go, Supercar, go. Oh, something died, Supercar. Imagine that, Supercar. That's right, yell at him. You're useless! 
You got to do nothing. Oh, wait a minute. Why did they put one of these guys out here? Is that just what happens when you hit the base? Rude. Don't ever do that again. We were just about to win. Okay. It is done. Clear reward. One step closer to Socrates. You know what's coming eventually, guys. Right down here. Master of mine, Socrates. They said Soractes, but they meant Socrates. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure how many uh, how many chapters away that is, but I'm pretty sure it's like right around the corner. Okay, we got a, a few more chapters to do, and then we'll be getting our last legend unit that's currently available in the game. Good times. Did you just see what I did, guys? Did you, did you just see me beat a chapter without Kazli or Fonoa? Crazy, right? Smash the like button if you think that's crazy, and click here to watch another one of my videos, because guess what? This one's over. Yeah. Thanks in advance.